Hey guys, Key Creations here. I'm here with a um, pretty awesome build, I think. Um, so I've been trying to um, just learn some new LEGO techniques. So here's one right here. So um, this is my remote control truck. Um, I can control steering both ways. And I can control whether it goes forward or backwards. So yeah, and also um lights. See if I lift this back end up. So yeah. So um I'm going to talk about how I built this thing a bunch. So uh in the front here um you can't really see a lot of the uh the uh, motors or anything. Um, if you open up the door, I mean, the motor for the steering wheels there. This uses two motors, um, a battery box, or, and a receiver for this one for um, this Lego truck that I built. And uh, the back is kind of ugly, um, mostly just because I don't have to take so much time. Um, like opening the back up and stuff. So this is a battery box right here. I'm just going to disconnect that. So I have um, all this crazy stuff here. This is the receiver right here that sends the um, transmission thing to the, um, uh, the remote control. So right here I have um, the speed and you can shift gears. Uh, give me a second. Let me just um, disconnect all these wires. Come on. There we go. Um, okay. So, with all the wires out of the way, I'm going to flip this guy on his side here. You can shift gears pretty easily. So, um, shift gears, you just uh, put it into first. The gear does sometimes get a little stuck here. Um, it's kind of hard to fix. But, uh, yeah. So, um, it's kind of hard to get it into first gear sometimes. But you can get it into first gear. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so you can get it into first gear. Like, right there. Uh, you sometimes need to help it, but once it's in first gear, it pretty much stays because of these two little pieces right here. Um, get closer in here. These two pieces right here just barely touch this gear, making it so that it kind of has, like, a little bit of trouble. Um, but yeah, so there's the shifter and all the gears. I'm just going to show you the underneath it um really quickly it has it's really crazy underneath so um under this is the underneath of the whole thing uh, it's pretty crazy you've already seen this part um this is the motor my big motor right here which turns back wheels and um this took forever to reinforce um but it's so, to show you better with the gears, um, this, so here's the motor, and it has the shaft here, which turns these gears, the same exact speed, and then it turns this gear, which turns this gear, and this gear is connected to this gear, which is connected to this gear, which makes this move, but when I shift it, then it changes gears because this gear is now running this gear and this gear is going the same speed as this gear which is running this gear which is makes it go a teensy bit slower not by much but it does go slower so um now i'm going to talk about the wheels here the wheels took forever to make um just going to take that off to show you the mechanism it's pretty basic mechanism it's just um this piece here is what's moving, and it's moving side to side, making the wheels turn. Here's the other side. It has um, these bar pieces with teeth on them to make the gear um, be able to move it. Um, 
and then the wheels are also here and uh yeah so that's pretty much it for the wheels for that part um now in here was the really really hard part so um i have these two gears here this gear runs the wheels left and right um and then uh i'll see here uh, trying to get a good okay so um there's a worm black worm gear right here which pretty much makes it go super slow um it turns this really slowly uh like see if i um just quickly connect this here i can show you that goes really slowly um So yeah, the worm here helps slow things down a ton, so that it goes really, really slowly. And then up here, um, I, uh, I'm not sure how I can show this very well, because it's kind of hidden, but um, up in here, so here's the little baby motor right there, and then uh, if I take the steering wheel out, there's... um. Uh, sorry, let me, uh, focus this here so you can see this better. Uh, come on. Okay, there we go. So, I have some of these, um, rods here that, um, are flexible. Kind of, like, when you, um, turn them, they, uh, turn at a certain angle. So, like, I'm gonna show you here. Like, so you can see how this works. So that spins really fast, but because of the wind here, it isn't, um, the actual gears down below don't actually spin that fast. And if you hear that clicking, it's just because, um, this one down here, um, is bumping against itself, and it's making it, making a clicking noise. It doesn't really do much, but yeah. Like, it won't break it or anything, but. Yeah, so, um. The, this cable right here is from the big motor, which is right there. And then, uh, there's cables way back there. Um, I'll turn this thing around here so I can show you. Uh, the, the, um, cables right here are from the lights. So now I'm going to show you where the lights are. Um, they're really hard to see, but the lights, um, the, both strings go up on this side. One goes all the way down here and plugs in, and the other one goes right here. And they plug in right here on these little clear squares. And, um, so whenever it turns, it, um, sorry, whenever it drives forward or backwards, the lights, the front lights come on. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put it back together. Um, so I say it pro. It approximately took um, 12 hours to build this thing um, due to its size and the just the technical difficulties. I started out with the frame and then I had to wait a couple days just because of the pieces. I had to buy a couple pieces, but um, I started out with the frame with the um, the shifter. And then I was like, hey, I really like how this came out. So um, then I designed the steering, the steering wheel and stuff with the small motor, which I already owned. I've had for a while. And then um, the big motor and the receiver and the um, remote came. So um, I put it all together, um, put an actual body on it, and this is what it looks like. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, my main goal for this was to make a vehicle that shifted, and I did. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to turn it on here. So, this is the remote. Um, I added these white pieces so that I got a better handle. So, the blue one makes it go forward or back. Um, when you press it forward, it goes forward, back, back. Pretty simple with that. Um, the red one, uh, forward goes um right and backwards goes left so i can uh control it pretty well 
sometimes I do have to stop it, um, because it takes forever to turn these wheels. But, um, yeah, so if I turn the wheels too sharp, like, this is really sharp, this is about as sharp as I can go, but if I go sharper, um, like, the wheels won't actually turn anymore, so, but, um, I will know whether the wheels will turn or not, because actually, these back wheels will just push it straight if I turn it too sharp. So, yeah, that was kind of an unintended safety feature, I guess. Also, um, yeah, so, I spent a ton of time reinforcing everything, because, uh, like, once I built the main thing, I could run it for, like, 30 seconds and then it broke, which, um, isn't very fun, so, yeah, I made it so it can last pretty long, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, don't forget to, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll uh, see you next time, bye!